quit raining, we're gonna go ahead and move the rest of this stuff in here right quick. All right, I just stopped on this trade right here. Uh, I have a lot of people comment when we're moving and, and, and I tip this cab over on this machine right here. And the uh, predominant comment is, is I can't believe they don't have some sort of a latch system or something up underneath this cab to unlatch to tilt this cab over rather than having to take out those four bolts that are underneath that you have to use a impact on or 36 millimeter headed bolts you know, to back out and you got to take them out well this is why I'm going to show y'all why the, this thing is so violent up here it, it, this, it'll beat the breath out of you while you're tracking it's that violent up, up inside this cab up here like this no latch system would uh whatever whatever hold up so here we go we finna we're gonna hit this road right here That's at about two and a half miles an hour like that right there too. Nothing, nothing would hold up to that. So you can see, well you can't see it yet, fix it too. That's a 650, uh, new 650 dozer right there that belongs to the uh, road crew that does the road work on these roads. I filmed it back a uh, while back. See it sitting there. 650K. Dad's pulling out of the way. Yeah, we have moved. Still got a couple of machines to get over here though. Man, it is wet. Oh my goodness, it's wet. We got another uh, two and a half inches of rain this morning. That's what we got this morning there. So that made things really lovely. Something a tree over our stump or something right there messed him up. Got that time now.
Getting greedy. back there. It'll quit in a minute. trying to rip it. It's going to go in the road. He got it. He got it. You hear the fan quit on it just then? It's called staying with it, baby. Don't give up. He got a chunk hung in his disc now. There he goes. Let his disc catch up a little bit. La Vista. When he cut that tree right there, he was that disc was only running probably about 25% when he went through it. jump on my loader and start shoveling wood we're not gonna run the skitter today and uh, I'm gonna the loader is gonna be the skitter right quick so what we what we're fixing out to do to get some wood out so y'all this this is what it looks when we make a it's not a drug swap it's a look <laughs> I was wondering if you was gonna be able to get them all in there or not well, it was raining I had to put them in there somewhere I know so this is what they look like in my truck now Stacked all the way over. Yep. So now the fun begins. There's seven boxes here. Got to go through. Got to go through all this stuff here. Right quick. So fun, fun, fun. So there's a box of uh, nothing but solid koozies in there in that thing right there. So this is the uh, finished product. Already put the shirts over there where they go, the ones that we were restocking back up. All right, so check this out. Uh, I've got a uh, long sleeve pocket tee. I don't have them on, I'm not, all I got was five of them just to kind of, I just got them to kind of see, you know, how I liked them or anything like that. I know uh, Cynthia had said something about wanting a, a law. Uh, long sleeve shirt and uh, she didn't care if it had a pocket or not or didn't want if I can't remember exactly what she said but uh but these uh I really like these though they're saying they're gilding the same thing and uh all that of course all that all that stuff's gilding right there too yeah so that's, it. That, that's gonna make a pretty cool picture I'm gonna back up over here and take a picture of it all where it can all be seen so here's the uh, 372 that I had sent to me, right there. Got the handles are over there in the box for it. And for those of y'all who have hung around for this entire video, I'm gonna end it with this right here. There she is. That is the new Husqvarner 572XP. I've got a video with it. I ran it a good bit the other day in the woods and uh, did a good bit of filming with it. A lot of cutting with it. They, Husqvarna actually hand delivered this thing to me. 
and uh, they contacted me and it's been a little over a month ago I guess and just kind of talked just a little bit and and I didn't really think a whole lot about it and until about two weeks ago I got contacted again or maybe a little over a week ago about a week and a half ago I got contacted again and uh, he said that uh, you know this was going to be released in February 2019 and he had his hands on one wanted to bring me one wanted to give me one So he brought this thing yesterday morning. He he drove down from uh, Chicago, and y'all are going to meet him in the video. And uh, he drove down, uh, brand brand new saw, didn't even had a bar on it or anything. <clears throat> and we throwed gas and oil in it and let her eat. <laughs> And let her eat, I did. I did. This saw here is a lot different than the 372 in the fact that it feels a lot different. It's a, um, they have basically nearly taken all the vibration out of this thing. It's the, the saw feels completely different without the vibration, the feedback coming through it. So it's, it's a different, run different a lot different feel and I talk about that some uh, this purge button this is not a primer button that's a purge button on it right there and you can you can pump that thing as many times as you want and it will not flood the carburetor but I just wanted to show y'all a little, a little sneak peek on it here and uh, where you kind of kind of see what's uh, see what's going on and y'all are gonna get to see this thing run a good bit here lately so <laughs> it's been a crazy week this week to say the least uh and also we made it through the week y'all like my stuff please subscribe to me i appreciate i appreciate all y'all who hung around all the way to the end of this video just to get to see the this get to see the chainsaw right there too uh be ready for sunday's video i'm not sure if i have it on time sunday morning or not it may be a little bit late i'm not real sure on that but uh sunday night we're gonna do another giveaway uh be prepared, man, because I may throw a giveaway at any given time in some of these videos because I got a lot of stuff to give away um, uh, that I showed in the video uh, prior to this one here. And uh, and then I've got a bunch of other stuff that I've accumulated that I'm just going to give away. So be paying attention in the videos because I, I don't know how I'm going to do it or where at in the video I'm going to do it. I may not even say anything about it just like the video today. So who knows? And uh, uh, so I'm going to let y'all go for now. Y'all have a good weekend this weekend. Be safe out there if you're out and about and all that stuff like that. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.